Now, this might be one I forgot to tell you about. Um, there's a next to the Stronghold uh, Mission Fellow. There's this um, social missions, and that's actually pretty important because you right-click on that, and it brings up a couple of um, a couple of missions. One is the crafting um, trainer, which you actually learn a crew skill, then interact with your trainer. Um, which we'll accept. And the other one is social points, which is if you join a, uh, a group and complete some missions, you'll actually get um, you get some social points. And then you buy a token. Um, you can then use that token and get some experience as well. So what I just did, that first mission, which if we click in the mission list, says crafting trainer. Learn a crafting skill, then interact with your training trainer. Now, one thing we did if you hit the N for Nancy key, you'll notice the skills that I um, got here were scavenging, uh, slicing, and treasure hunting. So in order to learn a crafting skill, I'm actually going to have to unlearn one of these. So scavenging, since I haven't actually developed that, I've only got one. I've done a little bit of slicing, but not much. So we'll unlearn that for now. We can always go and relearn it. And then we're going to run down here, and we're going to go talk to one of the crafting trainers. And uh, what we'll do is we'll have them teach us a crafting skill, and then we'll learn some um, learn some schematics. And then what we'll do is we'll forget the skill, but at least we'll get the points. So right-click on him. You have chosen to learn Cybertech. Yep, we'll train on that. Got a whole bunch of stuff. Now notice he's now got a little plus, which means he can sell us more stuff. Now if we click on him again, uh, you've completed that mission. Complete learn a crew skill, blah blah blah, you get your experience points. Actually we don't want to learn any of that and then we actually want to forget that. So it was just a convenient way of getting a few extra points. But that was actually quite good. I got some points and some money. So now we're going to go into here where we're going to um, put back our crafting skill. There we go. Got our crafting skill back. It doesn't cost anything at the low levels. It actually costs money at the higher levels to uh, um, to get some skills. So that's just a just a, a quick update on the skill crafting area. Now, one of the things as I'm running around in the in the uh, Imperial fleet, that my companion isn't actually doing anything, so I can actually make it go off and do something. Um, slicing, as I say, is probably the one that you can develop the cheapest because every time she succeeds in getting a sliced box, there's some money in it, and it usually is compensates for the cost of the mission, so or it close to. So this one's 95 credits it costs to do the mission, so we'll send her off. Actually, she's good at treasure hunting, so maybe we'll actually send her off and do some treasure hunting. Sometimes they just get items that you can sell; other times they actually come back with uh, something you can use. So. I'll send her off to do some treasure hunting. It's only going to be three minutes. It says how long she's got left, so less than less than three minutes. So anyway, that was just uh, you know, why you're running around or why you don't need her. Um, or when you get more than one companion, you can send the rest off on all these missions to do things for you. Um, Flashpoint courier wouldn't worry with that right now, although that does actually help with your social missions. But you actually have to then queue for Flashpoint, so I'll do that in another session.